this moment. This is Dwight as Krumpus. Who is Krumpus, you might ask, and why do we celebrate Krumpus Day? In modern Christmas tradition, Santa Claus brings naughty children coal and nice children gifts. In German folklore, it was Krumpus who was punishing naughty children. When Christianity came to Germany, St. Nicholas was the one that rewarded good children. And Krumpus became this sort of devil character. Traditionally, he looks like half man, half goat. He carries a little satchel to steal away naughty children, as well as chains and a birch whip. And essentially, he is terrifying. As well as other parts of the world that celebrate German I usually do body paint on this channel. I thought it would be fun for the holidays to switch it up, do something a little bit different by doing a Krampus special effects makeup look. I got some prosthetics that are not quite perfect, but are perfect for me. This had some small irregularities. This is so awesome. The face looks great. This is the forehead and these banana looking things are the horns. I may also add some additional horns. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to put the full styling together. Normally I would paint the prosthetics before applying them, but this time I'm gonna challenge myself to paint them after they're actually already applied to my face. To apply the prosthetic, I'm going to use Prosade. I'm gonna use a super tiny red cup that I got from the dollar store and pour some Prosade in there. And then I'm just gonna use a Q-tip to apply and start with the edges. So the prosthetic should look like this, nice and tacky, ready to apply. I'm just gonna pat down the edges so that it really adheres. I've added a little headband to keep my hair out of my face so I don't get glue. And I've adhered this pretty well onto my forehead. Next, we're gonna glue down the face part. Again, applying glue along the edges. With some progress. While that's drying, I'm gonna start painting in the other prosthetic gray. I'm adding in some highlights and shadows with white and black body paint by Chameleon and Wolf. This is what that's looking like. Okay, now it's time to apply the face prosthetic. Cut out the nostril so I can breathe. And this is how it looks. I've blended down the edges with more Prosade and I'm honestly obsessed. This is a great prosthetic. I'm starting to paint in black around the eyes. Now I'm gonna paint the rest of the face. This is what that's looking like. The sun went down, so I had to turn on the lights. Next, I'm gonna use a half black, half white stipple sponge to add some texture into the prosthetic. It's adding some really cool texture and almost making it look like gargoyle -y. I'm gonna add some weird ears. I am blending in the ears with the rest of the look. Next, I'm gonna add the horns. These are the little banana looking things. I pretty much glued on the horns, but you kind of have to hold them and make sure that they stay stuck. This is what it looks like when the horns are attached and I've added some like paint and little like texture to them. I'm gonna paint the beard. I think I'm gonna do it black to kind of be in keeping with the traditional Krampus. This is what that's looking like. I'm not sure if it's dark enough yet. I'm gonna play with it. Now I'm gonna paint the tongue red. As you can see, I've painted in the tongue and added some texture as well as painted in the teeth. So now I look like this. Crazy. To style my final look, I am adding a long dark wig and adding like a little bit of this hoodie and I'll probably add some chains. My ears keep falling off. But I hope you've liked it. I'm gonna do a little bit of posing, a little bit of pictures and show you the final results. God rest in Mary.